Hey everyone, and welcome back to the course on econometrics with free and open source software. I'm excited for today's lesson because I'm going to show you how to conduct your very first regression analysis. But before we do that, I want us to conceptualize and think, what are we really trying to accomplish with this econometric analysis, with these regressions that we're doing? At the end of the day, we're trying to find an association or a relationship between variables that allows us to make some kind of a prediction. So this is where we're going beyond basic data analysis and just kind of visualizing patterns and thinking that there might be a trend. We're actually analyzing the strength of that trend and then using it to make predictions. So uh, consider some questions that you might have in real life. Is the number of fruits and vegetables that someone eats associated with cancer risk? Is the consumption of sugar associated with risk of diabetes? Is the number of hours that somebody studies associated with their GPA? Or in our example here, is someone's height associated with their weight? You could think of countless examples, questions that you might want to answer, but at the end of the day, you're trying to understand a relationship so you can make some kind of prediction from that data. Now, in the real world, of course, someone's weight and height could be affected by countless factors, how old they are, what their family genetics are, what kind of food they eat, where in the world they're located, uh, all of these different things, right? But for our example, and indeed most introductory econometrics classes are going to focus on a simple two variable model. So don't worry, we'll get to adding more variables, but for now let's just assume that height and weight are the only two variables that matter. This is known as a bivariate regression, where bi obviously means two. So we've got height and we've got weight. And let's suppose that you've never heard of econometrics. You don't know anything about it. Where would you start if I told you to show the relationship between these two variables? You might go into Excel or Google Sheets and do some kind of a scatter plot to show the relationship between these variables. And indeed, that's a great place to start. So why not go ahead and let's do that in Gretel. So the first thing we'll need to do is obviously import some data and this is typically stored in some kind of a spreadsheet. So you create a spreadsheet with your data and then you import that into Gretel by going to open data and if it's a user file you can import that. Thankfully to save us some time I've already got this test data.csv loaded up. So what we're gonna do is obviously we want to close our current notebook it says Gretel tries to interpret the first column as containing observational information. Basically what it's saying is it's going to import those labels and generally we want to allow it to do that. If we wanted to override that we could click yes. Generally you don't so just click no. And then it says the imported data has been given a cross-sectional profile. What does this mean? Cross-sectional is just a snapshot in time. So we asked 10 people what's your height, what's your weight? Time series is kind of the other major profile that we can have in econometrics, and that is following um, observations over time. It's a little bit more advanced. We'll get there later on, but for right now, we're just doing simple cross-sectional data. So let's go ahead and go ahead and just accept how it is. And what we see is that it imports height and weight. Now, like I said, the first thing, we just want to view this relationship. So graph specified variables, x, y, scatter plot, and we'll do height and we'll do weight. Click OK. And what we see is that each of these green dots represents one of our data points. And if you were just looking at this, it would seem that as height increases, as we move to the right on height, well, it looks like weight increases as well. So we move to the right and up. Now, that's simple data visualization, but it doesn't really do much for helping us predict other than for us to say, well, if someone's taller, they're probably gonna weigh more. But what does a one inch change in height how many pounds difference would we expect? That's where econometrics and regression really comes into play because we're putting numbers and values onto that. So how are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do, very simple. We go to model, ordinary least squares, and we insert the dependent variable. So in this case, we want to know how something changes. So the dependent variable is what we're analyzing. We want to know how weight changes as a function of certain regressors. 
So think of it that way. How does this change as a function of these regressors? Well, obviously all we've got right now is height. We've also got a constant, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But for right now, just don't worry about it. So, okay, what it does is it pulls up all of this data that could look very confusing. So the first thing we'll notice is that it tells us our model. It says how we're doing it. Dependent variable is weight. And then this is what we're really looking for here. Constant and height. Now, these probably don't really mean a lot to you for right now. You're, what does this mean? What this is, is think of a line. Think of the equation for a line. So if you remember when you were doing basic algebra, you learned that the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b, right? So the equation of a line is some intercept plus the slope. That is exactly what we're doing with this regression analysis. So just to make it a little bit easier, let's go back and let's pull up this chart here. What we're doing is we're saying we've got all of these data points and they're not perfectly in line, but if we could draw a line that gives us someone's weight as a function of their height, what would that line look like? Well, what we have is the intercept and the intercept is basically the starting point uh, for that line. So. The intercept is minus 35.4 plus 3.10x. So minus 35.4 plus 3.1 times x, where x is the height. So if we were trying to predict someone's weight in this case, it would be minus 35.4 plus 3.1 times their height. So let's just make the math easy. Let's suppose that they were, um, 60 inches tall, we would do 60 times 3.1. That puts us at about 180 minus this 35.4. So 180 minus, let's say, 35. That puts us, let's see, 170, 160, 150, like 145, right? So a couple things to notice. Number one, we can use this to predict someone's weight based off of their height. That's really cool. But you'll also notice that even with this line, very few of our data points are actually on the line. There's a little bit of error. There's other things going on here. And that's what I want to talk about in the next lesson. We estimate this equation. We say that we think we can predict someone's weight based off their height, but none of these are really entirely accurate. It's our best estimate of what's going on. And in the next lesson, I want to talk about where do these errors come from? What do they mean? And is this model that we've created, is it even useful? Can we actually use this? Or are there too many errors to where it's pretty much worthless? So just for now, I want to just recap and say congrats on doing your first regression analysis. And again, you could have used some of that sample data, um, really any of the data you can play around with that Gretel has preloaded for you. Um, but you've done your first regression analysis and we've learned about coefficients and how they are used to model. So I do appreciate you watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. <music>